In this video, we're going to see how we can HTMXify a page in a Django application. And we'll see how we can convert a submission of a form to be done by HTMX and to change up the response so that it's handled by HTMX. Let's dive in. Now we're going to extend an example from a previous video and that was the one on the Django Query Dict object. In that video, we had this page here where we have a list of servers displayed in an HTML table. And on the right hand side, we can filter these servers by the server type. So for example, if we select nano and micro and submit this, you can see that the resulting table that comes back contains only the servers that are of that type. Now the way this works at the moment, when we select one of these options and submit the form, this page will then send a normal request to Django and Django will handle that request in this view function here called index. And what it's going to do is it's going to filter down the servers based on what the user has selected in the form. And then it's going to return the index.html file along with some context. So this is a normal request response cycle. We're going to change it up and we're going to use HTMX. Now the first step to get this working with HTMX is actually to install HTMX. So I'm going to leave a link to this below the video and we're going to copy the script tag and we're just going to reference the CDN link. So let's copy that and we're going to go to templates base.html and just underneath this bootstrap CSS that I have here, I'm going to paste in the HTMX link. Now we need to change up the way that the form is submitted and it's in this index.html file. So let's go to that file and we can see the HTML code here for this template in Django. Now if we go down, we have a form and you can see the method of get. So when that form is submitted, it's sending an HTTP get request to the back end. What we're gonna do is we're gonna change this and now we're gonna use HTMX. So what we need to do is add an attribute and that's the hx-get attribute. And that tells HTMX that we want to send a get request to the backend, but it's gonna do it using an Ajax request under the hood. Now what we pass to hx-get, it's a URL that we want to send the request to. So I'm gonna to go to urls.py. I have a named URL called index and that will send the request to this view here. So we're gonna reference that named URL using Django's URL template tag. So let's do that just now, the URL template tag and the name of the view is index, the name of the URL, sorry, is index. So now when we submit this form, HTMX is gonna send a get request to that URL. So let's just save this just now and we're gonna incrementally build this up throughout the video, but let's see what happens if we go to the page and I'm gonna refresh the page. Let's say that we want the small and the medium server types. If we submit that, you can see that we're getting back a response here. We're getting the entire page and it's replacing the button, it's replacing the form that actually submitted that request. So we have a few problems here, but something is going on. Now the first problem is that we don't have a target on the response. So when we submit the request, we get back this entire page and it's replacing the form, which was the source element that is sending the get request. This is the source element, so by default, the HX target attribute will point to this form. So it's gonna replace the form with the returned content. We can change that by adding an HX target. And what we want to do is we want to actually return the filtered table of all of the servers that match the types that have been submitted. So what I'm gonna do in order to do that is go to this template here and I'm gonna copy this table element and we're gonna paste that into a partial template. So let's create a new file in the templates directory and I'm gonna call that server-table.html and we're gonna go there and paste in that table. So we've extracted the table into its own partial template. We could of course also use something like Django template partials in order to do that in a single template. But just to keep things simple, we're gonna move it into its own file. And then once we've done that, we can remove the table and we can use the Django include template tag and we can include that new template called server table.html. So when the page first loads, it's gonna load up that table by referencing the partial template. Now the important thing for HTMX here is that we now have the server table, this table that we want to return containing the servers in its own template. So we can then reference that template in the view. So let's just go back to the page and make sure that everything is loading when we first go to this page. If we load it up, you can see we're still getting the table. So the include statement is working. What we're gonna do now is we're going to change the Django view code that we have in this index view. We need to differentiate between the original request to the page and a request that's coming from HTMX. Now it turns out that when you submit a request with HTMX, it adds an HTTP header to that request. And the header that it adds is the hx-request header. So what we're going to do in this view is we're gonna check for that header. And depending on whether that header exists or not, 
we're going to return a different template. Now the logic for filtering the servers and adding some keys to the context, that's gonna remain the same. I might change that a little bit later in the video, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna look for that HTTP header called hx-request. So the header has that key of hx-request and we can look at the request.headers property and that's a property on the Django request object that's passed into the view. We can look at the headers and we can check does this particular header exist? And if it does exist, what we can do is we can return the render statement and we're passing the request into that and the template that we're gonna pass in here is the server table.html and we'll pass that context in and that's so that the server table knows which servers we need to render. If we look at server table.html, that contains that template for loop that's looping over each one of the servers. So the servers have to be in the context and we don't actually need this form in the context when it's an HTMX request and that's because we're only returning the table. So I'm actually going to cut this one out here. So let me get the name of the form here. I'm gonna cut that out of the context and we can just keep the servers in that context and then if it's a normal request, we can append that key form to the dictionary, the context dictionary, by instantiating that form class. Now I'm gonna clean this up a little bit. We're gonna move this to a single line. We don't need multiple lines here. We create the context dictionary containing the query set of servers. And that's all we need to do if it's an HTMX request. We just then return the template partial that contains the table. On the other hand, if it's a normal request, we will go down to this block here and we will add the form to the context and render the entire index.html. Let's now test this out. We can save the file and go back to this page. And this time we're gonna select nano and micro and submit this. Now we get back only the table. Again, the form itself is being replaced by this content, but it's only the table that's coming back. And that's because when it's an HTMX request, we are returning the server table partial. So the last step here is to change the HX target. Let's go back to index.html and we're gonna to go to the form containing our hx get attribute. Let's add another attribute here called hx target. That allows us to specify the target element in the DOM where we want the returned HTML to be swapped into. Now we're returning a table of servers here. So we need to replace the existing table with this new table. So I'm gonna take the class of table here. You might want to give this an ID just to make sure you're targeting only one element in the document. But I'm just gonna use the target here with the class of table. And we want to replace that entire table. So I'm gonna pass hx swap and set that to outer HTML. Let's now save this and go back to our template here. I'm gonna refresh this page and we're gonna select nano and small for this request. When we submit that, you can see we're getting back the table, but this is actually all being done now with HTMX. And we can change this up and we can see that it's gonna dynamically filter the table of servers based on what has been selected and submitted via HTMX. So that's a very simple demonstration of how you can take a list page in Django and that list page can have an HTML table, it can have an unordered list of items and so on. And then you can use HTMX to filter the items on that page based on some queries or search parameters that have been sent to the back end from some kind of form. So thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing to the channel if you've not already done so, and please give the video a thumbs up. If you're enjoying this content, please also consider buying a coffee for the channel. There's a link in the description, and we'll see you in the next video.